You're so spoiled. Hey folks, welcome to the Clear Creek Cab Mini Farm. So today we're gonna to brush out the donkeys. Uh, so we're gonna show you how slick they can be. What we found works really the best is just a plain old dog slicker and a regular horse brush, nice soft horse brush. What I typically do is just brush them down to get the sand and any of the dirt off their skin as best as I can before using a slicker. And then we just take the slicker and we just uh, drag it down and we get tons of hair off of them this time of year. As you know, here it is in uh, mid-May and they're shedding like crazy. So come on along, we'll show you what we do. Plain old dog slicker, get them on Amazon and pet supply places and a regular old horse brush. This happens to be a tail tamer, professional choice. I don't know who gives us this slicker. I don't remember we've had it for years, but we'll show you how it works. Excuse my appearance, because I know I'm gonna get totally covered with, with uh, donkey hair today. So, wore some old clothes, old dirty clothes already, so. Brush them down, get all the sand off. I've already started to brush them a little bit on this side, but I can show you kind of what's happening. You don't want to grind the sand into their skin, so you want to try to get the uh, sand off the, off the skin before you use the slicker. And then you don't dig the slicker in, just use nice and light. I use just like two fingers on it and just drag it down through. See you fill it up right away. That's how much hair I got with just that little bit of brushing. We're gonna have a couple slick donkeys. And Bart's so accommodating, he's so good. Lift your leg here for me, buddy. Lift that leg up. Add a boy, thank you. See? You're such a good boy. You pull your leg right out of the way. No, no, no. Keep your leg up there. Move that leg up there. Thank you. Stay right there. Keep it right there. Thank you. Good boy. What a good boy. And of course, they like their butts rubbed more than anybody. More than any place. They like their butts rubbed the best. The hair. This leg. This leg. Oh, what a good boy. You're such a good boy. You are. You're such a good little fella. You are. You're such a good little fella. You are. Mm -hmm. You're such a good boy. Hey folks, just want to pause for a moment and talk to you about a company called Nature's Good Guys. It's who I buy my fly exterminators from. Now, if you don't know what fly exterminators are, basically what they are is they're a fly parasite. They're a little teeny parasite that hatches and it eats the larvae of house flies, horse flies, horn flies, any kind of a fly that you would have around your paddock or your stable. Um, it's a great program. What I do is I take them and I sprinkle them on my manure pile and it cuts down on the amount of flies that come around the area. So just thought I'd share that with you today. Um, it's a great product. It's very inexpensive to use. Uh, you put them on your manure pile, you know, two or three, four times a year, and it really cuts down on the number of flies. Now, I don't get sponsored by this company. I get no promotions from this company at all. What they did do for me was they allowed me to put together a promo for you guys to be able to get a 10% discount if you order from them. Now, if you go on their website and you order for them, and in the promo code you put in CCC10, Clear Creek Cabin, CCC10, you'll get 10% off on your purchase. Now they also carry other products such as ladybugs, praying mantises. I'm gonna order some ladybugs to add to my vegetable garden this year as well. But again, I just thought I'd share that with you. Great product, give them a try. Nature's good guys, fly exterminators. You can buy them on their website. You can buy them on Amazon. Well worth it, it's helped us a real lot with our fly problem here at the Clear Creek Cabin. So again, appreciate your tuning in. Back to the video.
Can I have this one? Give me this one. Okay, thank you. What a good boy. What a good boy you are. Mm -hmm. Feels good, huh? Feels good to get all that hair off there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Feels good to get all that hair off there, doesn't it? You're a good boy. You are. Gonna do their heads be very careful you don't get their eyes of course so I just kind of hold their he heads up and it'll keep you up there don't want to get anywhere near their eyes but you got to get this beautiful little mo haircut here in the front straightened out huh it's mo there you go. You're such a good boy. Try to get the cheeks a little bit. They're hard to do with the harness on. A little halter. But we do a little bit of them. We'll do that with the regular brush though. Okay? Okay? Okay, let's switch sides. Come on around. Come on around, big boy. There we go. We'll show everybody how much hair we're gonna get off on this side. Yeah. We'll show everybody how much hair we're gonna get off on this side. Yeah. A ton, huh? Not get near your business down here. Let's protect that, okay? Daddy's got his hand in a way so we won't hit it with a brush. I don't want to get kicked. No thanks. I kick somebody if they hit my business with a brush too, buddy. Uh huh? Ooh, getting close to your business, huh? You're getting kind of close to my business there, Dad. Let's get this butt. Well, I got my butt in the camera. Let me do these ears here, okay? Ready? Well, get a little bit of hair off. How's that? That's good. How's that? That's pretty good. There you go, buddy. Okay, now that they're all brushed out, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to wash their faces with some clean water and a washcloth to clean their eyes and their nose. Um, and then I use the same washcloth to go ahead and apply the fly deterrent that we have, the homemade fly deterrent. Um, if you'd like the recipe, um, you can see it in the video over here. And I'll also post it up over here, the actual recipe right up here. That way you can get it and you're more than welcome to reach out to me if you'd like to have it. It works very, very well. Okay, buddy, you want to wash that face? Let's wash that face. Ready? Okay. So you know he doesn't want to have your face washed? Yes, you do. Come here. Come here, Mr. Donkey. Come on. Say no. Come here, bud. Come here. Let's go. 
and do the good, do the eyes. Come here, do the eyes. Ready? See? What I do is wipe away from the eyes to get the sand and anything that gets in the corner of their eyes. Wipe it away first. Is it like that? Get any of those little eye boogies out of there. And then we go ahead and wipe the whole face. Yes, then we wipe the whole face. Oh, say we love this, buddy. Oh, yeah, you like this. Yeah, I know you do. You do. Admit it. You do. Okay, we're going to clean the nose. Ready? Clean the face. we got to clean this face. you got dirty lips, so just knock it right off there, young man. Knock it right off. And let's clean those nose boogies. Ready? We're going to clean out those nose boogies. Come here. Hold still. Let me get them. Oh, you're smiling. You're smiling at me. Let's get those boogies. Get them boogies out of there. And let's get this boogie out over here. No donkey boogies. No donkey boogies. Okay, now we're going to do the flighty curve. Because it's got Avon Skin So Soft, which is kind of an oil that has a tendency to rise to the top, so what you want to do is keep it shaking. Shaking very well. My donkeys do not like spray bottles. I have tried hundreds of times to use a spray bottle on them, which would be so much easier, but they just won't let me. So what I typically do is I do their start from their face first, and I soak it really good. And I start from their face and head down, and work backwards. Ready? Okay, ready? Nice and easy, nice and slow and easy. That way you don't mind, huh? See, Dad, I smell horrible. I smell such like a sissy. I do, I smell like a sissy. But, but the good thing about this is you can go ahead and get it around their eyes. And that way, any flies that try to land on their face are deterred. It's pretty good. I don't get it in their eyes, but I do get it around their eyes and their face. And it does leave them a little slick. My slick donkeys, we slick them with a slicker and then we slick them with some Avon Skin So Soft Grease, huh? Let's do those ears. This is the part you don't really care for, I know. Come here, give me this head. Give me this head, oh, tuck in right here. That's good, okay? Then we're gonna just do the ears a little bit, okay? There you go, we're gonna just wipe those ears a little bit so they don't bother your ears. Okay, and we can wipe a little bit inside. There you go. There you go, and then get on the head, and then rub you all over. Rub you all over. We ain't gonna have no flies today, honey. We're not gonna have no flies today, are we? No, no flies on my dog. Let's get that belly, but we don't wanna get it on your business. Let's protect your business again. Daddy's always gotta touch a donkey business. That's not always fun. Uh-huh. And I typically do the front feet first because those are the cleaner of the four before we do that back end ones in case we have decided to have a where are you going get that butt over here get that butt over here where do you think you're going and I try to get their feet really good because you know how uh, how flies just love to go around the bottom of their feet you don't want them stomping all day long to try to get the flies off huh buddy we soak those real good, don't we? Yep. Come on over. Give me this foot over here. Come here. Give me this one. Good boy. Up, oh, all the way. Don't bite me. There you go. That's my boy. That's my boy. Let's do the back ones. I'm going to go ahead and do Miss Sadie. Uh, I didn't try to keep this video a little bit shorter for you guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to wipe Sadie all down the same way. It works very, very well. And it really helps a lot. Uh, we don't have a big fly problem here anyways because we're very diligent about picking up poopies. We put vinegar in their water. 
Uh, we use the fly exterminators in the poop pile, which is 150 yards away from the stable. Uh, we keep everything as clean as we possibly can. We keep them brushed, we keep them wiped down, and we have very, very few flies. We get them occasionally. We had rain for the past couple of days, and have noticed that you know once we have a little bit more rain, we have a tendency to get a few more deer and horse flies that we usually don't have hardly at all. Um, I think once it's drier, they, they move down to damper areas. So that's it for today's video, folks. I'm gonna pick their uh, hooves. I'm going to go ahead and pick their hooves next, but you don't need to see that. I've got that on other videos if you'd like to watch it here on the channel. But thanks for tuning in. God bless you all. Be safe out here in this crazy world that we live in today. Stop back and see us. Subscribe to the channel. Love to have you as friends of the family. Take care, folks. See you until next time. Come on, Miss Sadie, your turn. Oh, yes. Come here, Daddy. Okay, my good girl. I've got your really harness really loose today. Your halter's really loose, huh? Yeah, I've got your halter really loose today. Let me see you got big bookies in here today. You got big bookies in his eyes in here today. Yes, you do. Okay, there we go. There we go, beautiful. There we go, my beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. can, you clean that? can you clean that nose? Oh, let's clean the face. Let's show everybody what a beautiful face you have. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that face. Yes, let's pick those boogies. Let's get them boogies out of there. Oh yeah, let's get them boogies. Okay, clean face, kissable.